Now, moving on really quickly to another story, we have Annalisa. There's been this very popular video that has been trending, and it's about this man saying that if I were a woman, I would not raise a finger to do anything. I would not choose the hotels I go to for dinner. I would never, ever, ever stoop low because guess what? I would require and demand to be treated like the queen that I would be. However, I am a man. And so Annalisa posted this particular video, and she echoed the words of this particular man saying, look, if you broke, shut the F up. We ain't about you. We ain't about that business no more. If you have no money, keep quiet and huddle up in a corner because women are not chasing you anymore. They're tired of being with broke men. They are requiring to be with people who have money. And she says she's learned her lessons and she ain't about to go backwards. She ain't about to date another broke man, aka Ben Paul. And she's not about to be uh, including broke men in her life. She wants a man, man with money. So if you don't have any money, to the left. To the left. Am I pointing left? Yes, to the left because she's not about that anymore. So let's talk about it. It doesn't matter whether you have money or you don't have money. We all chasing the same thing. We're chasing the bag. Am I happy for Annalisa? Absolutely. This girl has done too much to deserve a man who she has to bring up to her level. You know, she needs someone to bring her up higher to their level. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? These are just my sentiments. Do you think Annalisa is correct in that she has money, but she's not about to look for a man with no money anymore? Or do you think that, hey, if you have money, charity, charity, bana. Patia wale wengine, saidia wengine, you know? And a lot of people were actually joking about Ben Paul and his situation. I think Maina Kagani even went so far as to say that, you know what? When I knew Ben Paul and I was seeing him post pictures with Range Rovers, in my mind, I knew those were not his cars. Right now, he's gone back to the same old car that he had before he was in a relationship with her. And of course, Ben Paul has been very, very uh, vocal about the fact that he wasn't with her for the money or any of that other stuff stuff and he's happy to have just been her man we still don't know what happened very particularly about the story like they've been loud but like we still don't know what the specifics of that relationship and how it ended we are not sure what that situation was like yeah i don't know i feel like maybe a bit more clarity because they both sound like they're both a little vexed still about their former relationships but these are just my sentiments as i said what do you think let me know on 0770 729 366 right about now let's move it up a notch and go to afro buzz